In today's lecture, we'll start to learn like the pinnacle of uh, uh, this class, which is option pricing. And uh, uh, option is some uh, like uh, financial uh, product which gives you uh, power to buy some stock at a certain price in the future time. Okay, and we'll learn how do we price uh, this financial product. Let's first um, look at the big picture before we enter any technicalities about the notations and definition needed for this pricing theory. The big picture is we need uh, uh, two fundamental tools and then we'll learn uh, the model which won this uh, two guy uh, Nobel Prize. And uh, the first one is we'll learn some stochastic process called Martingale. Okay, a Martingale. I mean, the name is kind of funny, but uh, uh, it's from French, and uh, um, it it's like a generalization of a fair a gambling game. Okay. So it sounds uh, a little bit contradictory, but uh, uh, if you decide to play this gambling game, then uh, neither players can be taken advantage of given the current circumstances. Okay, something like that. The second component uh, is geometric uh, Brownian motion. Okay, the geometric Brownian motion models price of the stock because option is giving you some option to buy a stock at a future time so we need to um, we need to be able to model uh, the stock price okay so something like uh, we need to be able to um, to model the pattern of the volatile behavior but in general our stock our stock like um, is moving up so we need to uh, be able to model that and the last is we'll learn the famous uh, Black-Scholes model which is um, the pricing of uh, a simple uh, European uh, call option okay. so let's start with uh, this Martingale okay uh, we'll learn an easier version of definition of Martingale without entering this measure theory and filtrations and stuff. So let's look at the definition of Martingale. Um, so first of all, of course, we have a continuous time stochastic process and uh, um, The uh, uh, we we say, um, I mean the state space can either be so the state space uh, can either be uh, the whole real number or we can have like a discrete, uh, a finite set or countable set. Okay. So which means uh, this xt may be a continuous time markup chain which jumps between discrete values or can be a Brownian motion like uh, uh, changes continuously, okay? And we say it's a martingale if the following property is true. That is, given the past observation The expected value given the past observation is nothing but uh, uh, the current observation. Okay, and this is for some uh, for uh, for some s is less than t. If we look at this formula, okay, so s is like a time here. This is like our current time. All right, and all these are like our past 
and current observations, and T is something like future. This says the best estimate of the future is nothing but the current, um, like the value of uh, this stochastic process. What does this tell us is, um, let, let's, so let me give you guys some heuristics about uh, Martingale, okay, given the definition. The Martingale um, has to satisfy on these, uh, this property, and it actually implies two things. It means given the current and the past observations of, like, a, let's say, a many thousands of tra trajectories or all the possible trajectory, all the possible path generated by this stochastic processes, given the observations, we should not observe any trend or trends okay in this uh, uh, stochastic process because if we observe in general the stock uh, let's say the stochastic process is going up then our anticipation of a future value should be greater than the current value okay so as, as a result we should observe no trends the second one is also like from our um, Markov chain that is uh, this stochastic process should show no uh, period either. Okay. Um, so now the, these are the heuristics. And let's uh, now look at uh, some uh, uh, examples. Okay. First of all, uh, the standard Brownian motion is a Martingale. Um, so I, um, let's uh, show it quickly. By the definition, we need to verify the future time t given uh, the past observations. And we need to verify this is nothing but uh, w of s. And we, we again we need to use our euro trick, which is split um, w of t into two terms. So we split into w of s plus w of t minus w of s. Okay. Given uh, w of u here, and now we further split this into two terms expectation of uh, this guy, the first term, plus the expectation of the second term. For the first term, it's very straightforward because um, S is one of the time here, which means or we already know the value of this Brownian motion at time S. As a result, this is nothing but uh, W of S. Okay. Now, if we look at the second one um, here, from from zero to S, there is no overlapping except the one s but uh, that's uh, that doesn't matter in the continuous time they have no overlap um, which means they are independent okay so here we use independent increment of a brown emotion as a result the second one is as if we're taking this expectation without any condition, but uh, um, this is zero. Okay. With if without any uh, condition. So this equals uh, W of S. 
So we uh, we just verified the Brownian motion is a martingale. The other um, example I want to give is a Poisson process. Okay. First of all, P Poisson process it doesn't sounds like a martingale because Poisson process in generally it has a trend of going up. So Poisson process is something like something like this. Okay. So it remains zero for a while, and then we have our first arrival. It becomes uh, one, and then uh, it remains one sometime, and then jump to two, and may jump to three at some time, and uh, may jump to four here, and may jump to five even shorter, but uh, then may remain jump to six for a long time, something like that. So this is our uh, Poisson process. Uh, which is uh, n of t. It's a counting process. Uh, in generally, it goes up. Um, so it's not a martingale. However, we can make it a martingale if we consider the following stochastic process. That is, uh, x of t is uh, um, we subtract the average, or say this is the expected value, this is actually expected value um, at uh, time t of this counting process, then um, this modified Poisson process, or say normalized Poisson process, now it becomes a martingale. And let's verify it. Okay? So you need to verify that for future time, t is greater than s. Given the past observations, that uh, this is nothing but x of s. Okay, um, it's verified. Um, like Euro, uh, we do the same thing, exact the same thing as uh, the Brownian motion. That is, uh, we rewrite this in the increment form. Right. And now we split into uh, two parts. Of course, the first part and again, you guys might already recognize that this is nothing but uh, x of s. Okay. The rest is just to show the second part is uh, 0, which is x of t subtract x of s uh, given x of u with u is between 0 to s. Okay. And to show this, uh, let's just uh, directly write down what uh, x of t is. For example, x of t is uh, n of t subtract lambda of t. If we subtract x of s, it's n of s plus lambda of s, lambda times s given x of u, all right, and if we think about this, if we uh, split the terms, first of all, lambda t and lambda s, uh, they are deterministic. If we take expected value, no matter condition or not, um, they are just uh, themselves. So, for example, here we have subtract lambda t and plus lambda s. If we write as one term, it's subtract lambda times t minus s. And now, if we plus this guy, okay, and now we use uh, um, independent increment again. If given these two conditions, okay, uh, this is equivalent, this condition is equivalent of uh, given all the information of n of u, and u is between uh, 0 to s, because uh, 
n of u right here is nothing but uh, x of u. They are just a different by a deterministic like uh, function. As a result, they have the same randomness, and uh, uh, and we'll use independent increment of these two. As a result, um, this term is nothing but uh, expectation of uh, without the condition, and th this is a Poisson process, and we use stationary increment. This is nothing but uh, lambda times t minus s. And now we compare the terms. Um, this term will cancel with this. As a result, we've reached our conclusion. This is excess. Okay. So um, I hope you guys have uh, like grasped some ideas about this uh, martingale. And in the next video, uh, we're going to learn the famous geometric uh, Brownian motion.